Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon Plays, SimCity 2013. Um, so in the last episode... Oh, that's not good. So in the last episode, um, we're having a density crisis because this is supposed to be a populous town, and it's anything but. Um, I may have gone after rich people too quick. That may have been the problem. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to destroy some... Well, it actually doesn't matter because even the poor people aren't um, gaining their density too high. But one thing that is going on that uh, I screwed up on, um, everyone's been complaining about germs and I hadn't thought about it. Um, so I checked the map and the... Not the health map, but the germ map. Where is the germ map? There's the germ map. Pollution, 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 pollution. Pollution, 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 pollution. That's why we have so many sex sims. So, um, and this is a percentage deal. So, like, these people over here aren't really affected, but they're still a little concerned that all the people over here are sick and dying and, you know, their lungs are turning into black goo. So we need to start breaking up some of this air and ground pollution. Now, there seems to be most of the ground pollution over here, so we're just going to go to the, the parks, and then nature, and then plant forest. Wait, that's free? I thought that cost... Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I'm losing my mind. So we're gonna just put trees everywhere, and of course, the Sims will destroy... It. Whoa, what the heck? And the Sims will destroy the trees as they need to, if they need to expand, which is fine. But... Trees can help, um, trees will help protect the surrounding area from any pollution. Trees, um, help suck up ground pollution, but the trees will eventually die. So you try not to uh, rely on that too heavily. And you need to keep an eye on your trees so when they do start dying off you can, uh, replace them. Now, it's not an instant fix, of course, but it will help. And the coal power plant is, of course, the one that's really hurting us. Um, it says air pollution generated low. It must be relative. Uh, we can upgrade to an advanced coal generator, which will produce less air pollution, but for... Wait, and it costs less per hour? That's interesting. It costs more coal, but we're mining coal up, so let's go ahead and just do that. I didn't realize that it costs less per hour. So we're gonna get rid of the two dirty coal generators. Wait for the little footprints to reset on me. And we're gonna lay down two advanced coal generators. I will lower the air pollution that doesn't look any cleaner. I guess it is still coal. I mean, as as they uh, mention in one of the modules, even if you use clean coal generators, coal is coal, and it's still clean coal is only relative. It's still going to be pretty damn dirty. All right, so stick down a few more forests over here. All right, so that should help. So let's check the germ map now. Like I said, it probably won't fix much, but it should help a little. I didn't, I should lay some forest down there too. Nice thing is forest doesn't have any upkeep costs. So if you can afford to place the forest, then you will be fine. You're supposed to lay a door from the outside. That's Rachel I'm talking to. She's unmiked at the moment, but she is here just playing Minecraft. And this will, by the way, be the last session for tonight, or the last, uh, me the last episode for tonight's session. Although, as usual, you guys won't notice, because by the time all these episodes air, it's probably a week later, and, you know, you don't care, and I'm sure I'll record by then. So, yeah. So now we have forests everywhere, hopefully to start, um... Why is the ore mine out of people? Out of workers? 
And we have a UFO in the city. Great. Apparently my arrogance does not extend to aliens. They're here to pimp smack me into being humble. It's them little green men! Oh god. Not only are we China, we're redneck China. That's a cool effect, though. I wouldn't mind getting abducted like that. It might be fun. Or it might be all anal probes and terrifyingness. Maybe it wouldn't be so fun. Okay. Power, green. Water, green. Sewage, green. Jeez, music. Okay, you don't have to be screaming at the top of everybody's lungs here. You guys probably didn't even hear me during that mess. Alright, where where's this last building? There it is. Alright, so... Oh, that's why the fire trucks aren't responding, because the large fire station doesn't have any workers. Why are you guys hurting on workers so bad? You know what? I don't care. We'll just, we'll just make a whole bunch of more... A whole bunch of more. We'll make a bunch more... Residential zones. Man, I'll tell you, I'm tired since, like I said, I mean, it's freaking 3.42 in the morning. I don't even know why I'm playing still, but I am, and I'm paying for it. So we'll just expand again, make some more residential blocks here. What are you testing? Oh, okay. You're sending a package. All right. There we go. That should get us some more people. Happiness is starting to fly. Okay, look at that. Now density is trickling on its way up. I bet you what's going on is that um, probably people weren't increasing their density because all those services, like the fire department, didn't... Like, still, the fire department doesn't have anybody working for it, so... Obviously, that means our um, fire coverage is poor, and that would affect the rich people. Like, they'd be all upset that our fire coverage was bad. It makes sense. So I'm still using that $3 million gift well, although now we've spent over a million, but we still have plenty of cash as a treasury buffer. Uh, hopefully, this will all work out soon. Let's check the germs map again, since everyone seems to be happier. See if I've helped. Yep, look. We had a few, we had like six to eight buildings here that was air pollution problems. We're down to two. Um, over here we had about ten, down to four. And the coal mine can't really do anything about that. The coal mine is going to be bad, regardless. It's going to be a very stinky coal mine. And we have a fire. And still nobody in the freaking fire station. Why? Why heck, can you not hire anybody? Well, densities are going up, so hopefully that means... Yeah, like this building, the Ward Estate might be the first one to upgrade to a medium density building. And then we will start seeing a better population spike. Now, I planned ahead with all these avenues. Um, avenues, of course, take up a much larger footprint than just using streets. However, I've done this on purpose because eventually uh, we'll lay down a um, bus depot and we'll lay down a um, streetcar uh, depot. The streetcar especially is going to be necessary because um, with all the, with all the uh, avenues we can upgrade them to streetcar avenues and then the streetcars will be able to shuttle passengers around like it ain't no thing. And then we will have probably all of our traffic problems solved. Although right now we don't even have traffic problems because we don't have enough people in the city to cause a traffic problem. Okay, so where's that Ward Estate? How's it doing? Still going there. Still doing okay. Let's zoom in on it. I used a color filter at the beginning of the session called uh, Vibrant. Uh, or no, Juicy. Juicy was my color filter and it 
Hasn't really seemed to affect anything, so I don't know what's going on with it. Something changed, but my badly artistic eyes don't know. Jeez. Stop with the freaking fire. Come on, fire station. Why can't you hire people? Do you need educated people? Is that the problem? Maybe that is the problem. Maybe these people aren't getting educated. That kind of suck. Oh, well. Density still going up. That's all we care about. As long as density keeps going up. Yeah, see, look at that. That's a lot more green. So we should have all of these buildings right in the center of whatever you want to call it. All the center areas here should be upgrading relatively soon. And as I say that, the density arrow goes away. <sighs> I'll tell you, I'm having some really rotten luck today. Or some really rotten planning. Alright, the large fire station, I don't know if it's bugged or if I've just done something wrong, but we can't, we can't have this. We can't have it doing nothing. So we're going to just go ahead and destroy it, and we're going to lay down a small fire station instead. In fact, we'll even put it in this block. That is not where I intended to place it. Now we do the bell, lay down another couple fire engines, plant the flag, put up a sign. Hopefully that one will actually hire some people. Go to triple speed, what do you want? I know, you moron, but it's not the number of trucks, it's the number of employees. You need to hire people. What's wrong with you? Wow, we are making an hourly profit now that I destroyed the large fire station. That's awesome. And our population is spiking upward, even though we also have fires raging out of control over there. Coal estate, ward estate, still not up there, but man, I'm hoping... Okay, there, now, okay, the fire station now has people in it. Well, that's awesome. About freaking time. See, the smelting factory, I placed that forever ago. And that hasn't found anybody to work in it yet. Oh, now it has, because it just switched from hiring to no raw or production stop. No coal production stop. There we go. Now it's producing some alloy. All right. Okay, so we're, we're doing much better here. <sighs> that was annoying. Come on, density. Keep it up. Keep it. Keep it going here. All right. Let's check the happiness meter. People are dying. It's horrible. Too many germs. Our kids need education. Too many injuries. Come on. What is wrong with you people? Seven hundred sims, sickness, injuries. Huh. This is strange. Normally we don't have injuries plaguing the city this badly. We miss going to school. You know what? I don't really care. Oh, wait a minute. Can't I? Right. We'll do school. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, I feel dumb. I feel so dumb. We can put bus stops down. And then buses will actually come from... Uh, Guth Dragon's Den to come pick up the ankle biters. How could I forget? I'm gonna blame the time. I really am, because I'm not that forgetful.
I'm really not that forgetful usually. So I believe buses will go to other cities without you needing any other departments or whatever. But it doesn't matter. We have all these awesome departments as it is, so... Yeah, this is definitely my uh, body's way of and my brain's way of telling me to stop playing. I start making mistakes like this. And look at that. As soon as I put down those bus stops, all of a sudden we have a whole bunch of buildings upgrading in density. What a freaking shock. <sighs> See, this is why I've said I'm proud of being a freelancer for IGN Entertainment. And I feel that, you know, even if the majority of Let's Players on YouTube are bad at what they do, which... I don't know if they are or not, but if that is the case, I feel that I'm pretty good as a Let's Player. I try to be concise, I try to explain what I'm doing, I try not to freak out like a lunatic, unlike my Legend of Zelda series. Um, and I try to be, you know, relatively knowledgeable and sure and confident of what I'm doing. But there are days, there are just bad days at the office, where I really don't no a residential zone from a hole in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Today, or at least tonight, is clearly one of those times. Or it could just be because it's 8 till 4 in the morning. Bedtime. Yeah, definitely bedtime. But look at all these buildings that are popping up. Now we're making 2400 an hour. 2400 per hour. The only problem is we're going to have to watch our uh, utilities because like I mentioned in the last episode, maybe the episode before that, you really have to watch your utilities to make sure that um, that uh, they don't go, they don't get overwhelmed when buildings start upgrading like crazy. And this is definitely one of those times. Um, I appreciate that. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to save and quit Minecraft after... What? It, it. Yeah, it... Oh, no, it shouldn't, because I have your mic off right now. Okay, Mayor's House approved. That's something I don't think I did in the other town, even though I could. So we're going to stick the Mayor's House in the middle of all the richy rich people. Because I'm the Mayor, damn it. Um, that's kind of a tough choice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a good spot. So, there we go. So, placing the mayor's house makes everybody happy. And that will secure me even more for density increases. Population 10,000, yeah, that's, that's, that's more like it. That's definitely more like it. So now that we uh, now that we are firmly financially established, I'm going to slow time down for a second. Go to the uh, go to the region map, click Guth Dragon's Den, and I'm going to send a million dollars back to him. Him, as if it's anyone else. It's still me. Anyway, one thousand K. Right. Send gift. Now that that system actually works in the freaking game with all the patches. All right, so back to it, and back to triple speed. Um, just just this way, uh, you know, I for me it is kind of alone, and I do want. Uh, I mean, I, I consider it alone, and I want um, Guth Dragon's Den to be the money holder, money hoarder. Even um, it's good for his namesake anyway. Guth Dragon probably hoards all the gold and the rubies, which works. Um, and then that way, all the money is in one place to buy the big projects, such as the upcoming Arcology, when I finally get it functional. But before I can do that, I need to get, um, I need to get us to 52,000, I believe it was. 52,000 people in the city. Uh, 58,000. So I need 58,000 people in this city. That will be the goal here. And hopefully we will get that going. We are now making $4,000 an hour. 
Unbelievable. I really am like a min-maxer in SimCity. I fail for a long time and then boom, I do really well. And then I fail for a long time and then boom, I do really well. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, especially since we've gone longer than 20 minutes. So I will uh, hopefully have another episode for you tomorrow. Just keep your eye on the channel. As usual, remember that episodes go up at 8 p.m. Eastern if they're on the playlist. Um, you can see the playlist and that'll tell you how far ahead I've recorded. But I do one episode per day just so you guys don't get burned out. Um, I don't know. I, I'm out of words and at this point I'm kind of blathering. So I'm going to go sleep now. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.